Hey everyone, it's John. Today we're looking at this Red Comet USB headlight bracket that you can mount to your bike. And they did send this out to me for review and I was excited to get it installed because I do quite a bit of mountain biking. So I've got my track here. I do have this installed. It took me about 15 minutes to get this installed. So the install was very easy to do. Um, I will show you that install process and we'll go over the features here. So first of all, to get it installed, I'll show you here. Um, it's just got a bracket here that goes on the back. If we can get the camera to focus. There we go. And then one here on the front. Now this ring here was a little too big for my handlebar, but it does come with all of these different sized plastic spacers. So you pick the ones that fit. I used a spacer here on the front and a spacer here on the back and it fit really well. It's very sturdy. As you can see, I'm wiggling it. Um, doesn't go anywhere. So it tightens down really, really well. Now, as far as the features, of course, the main thing is you have your light here. So a single press goes high, medium, and then low then back to off. And then while it is on, if you double tap, you get strobe. And then once again, it goes to a different type of strobe. And then I think this is, yeah, a little bit quicker strobe here. And then back to off. The other thing about this, and it may be hard to see on camera, but you have a standard USB-A port on the back and also USB-C to charge it, which that is awesome. I, there are so many things in my house that take USB-C to charge. I'm glad that this is USB-C. Now, another question that I had with this is, okay, I've got it all installed now, but to get it charged, do I have to have a really long cable? And no, they did think about this. If we go down here, I'll show you. It's got a little thumb screw here. And if we loosen this, you can see how this just pops off, releasing this. And if you do this on the other side, this pops right out and you can charge it. And then we'll just pop this right back in. So you don't have to uh, unmount this from your bike. They did think about that. You just install the, this to your bike and then you can undo it with two little screws here and take this off and charge it, which is awesome. Now up here, they do have a GPS mount and this says it works with, with Garmin trackers. Uh, it's for like bike, tracking. I don't have anything like that, so I can't really speak to that. I usually use my phone and this does work well for my phone. So I have a uh, XS Max, so I have the bigger size of iPhone and this extended all the way out. I had to extend it out uh, and it fits nice and snug in here. Now, one thing I will mention on this, there isn't any sort of felt or any sort of padding in here. It is just a metal bracket, but if you're like me and you use a phone case, I've got a rubber phone case on this or even a plastic phone case that is going to protect my phone while I use that. So it's not really an issue for me. I just want to make you aware of it. And how you adjust this is you're just going to go like this and then it tightens down. You can see you got a little bit of tightening there. So you just get it snug on your phone and then you can tighten it down so it's not moving anywhere. But so far, this light has been really bright. I did test this out. Uh, doing kind of a night ride and it really does allow you to see. So if you're right at night, this is a big plus, big addition. This also allows you to have uh, charging capability to your phone, which is awesome. This is a power bank, so you can charge your phone while you're riding, have light, and even riding in the daytime, this is also going to provide a bit more safety if you have this on. It's just gonna be easier for cars to see you. So I just wanna make a note of that. And that's a quick review on this. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.